This is the best rated pizza in the entire world and we're going to be comparing it to the world's most expensive pizza that has more gold than my chain. The top rated pizza in New York City that uses a 100 year old oven and everything in between. And as crazy as it might sound, we're going to start at Costco. I've never actually had their pizza, but based on countless articles I've found online, this is the internet's favorite budget slice. Do I think Costco pizza is going to beat the slices we're going to have in New York or Italy later in this video? Probably not, but we won't know until we try. Members only. Shouldn't be a problem. Not the best photo though. Fun fact, they sell so much pizza here at Costco that technically they're one of the largest pizza chains in the country. I need to find out why people love it so much. So you think it could be the best in the world? Costco is the best. We watched this pizza be made back there by this robot machine that spreads the sauce perfectly. The robot is so smart that as it gets closer to the center, there's less sauce so that your pizza can hold up and doesn't flop over. They've just got everything down to a T where it's all the same consistent, perfect pizza. Thank you. Thank you for the next drink. Oh, an extra drink. There you go. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Thank you. So I will say this pizza looks fantastic. And our guy, Greg, seems to think it could be up there with the best pizza in the world. The smell of this pizza alone is unbelievable. This is the pizza that brings me back to my childhood. I feel like it's the very best version of a pizza that you get at a birthday party. I love it. The only negatives for me is that there's no crunch in this crust and the bottom doesn't have that classic pizza char I'm looking for. This pizza right here exceeded my expectations, but the real question is, can it hold up against the best pizzas in the world? This is Al Forno. It's in Providence, Rhode Island, just a few minutes away from the hospital where I was born. And this is where grilled pizza was invented. Grilled pizza has a more complex flavor than any slice you've probably ever tasted. And it's so good that at one point, it won Al Forno the award for best casual restaurant in the world. How are you? Good, how are you? Good to see good you. To see you. The last time I was in this kitchen was when I was 17. 17 years old. Wow. Yeah. Are you 21 now? I'm 27. <laughs> so fun fact, this was my first ever job. David was the chef. Was I helpful? Give me an honest rating. Oh yes, you were. I remember. We I swept the floor a lot. You were helpful, yes. Do you think this deserves to be up there with like the best pieces in the world? Because I actually do. I do. Oh, absolutely. Because of all the care and time that we take in making them. It seems easy, but it's not that easy. I promise you. The whole process takes like, I don't know, three minutes. And David, Nick will be able to make one too? Absolutely. Was he allowed to make one back in the day? Or? Uh, no, he was not. <laughs> Any reason why? Uh, he needs some training. That right there is what makes a grilled pizza a grilled pizza, those clean, fresh marks that go across it. So what's the secret? I mean, what makes this pizza so good? Fresh ingredients, very simple. Cooking it on a live fire like that, right straight on. Uh, David, I don't know if you remember this, but one time I went to use the bathroom when, when I was working here, uh -huh. and I turned off the lights in the oh, whole Oh, I restaurant. do remember that. Yeah, everybody does that when they come. <laughs> And that was pretty bad. Did scream at you? Yeah, yeah, I think I got yelled at. What the f are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I love all the little spots that you do when you yeah. put them on there. So unique in the sense that, like you said, every pizza looks different. It kind of breaks the rules of pizza. Like, you know, the sauce is not first, the cheese is first. The cooking method is different. Everything is different so, about it. We got to rotate it constantly because some spots are hotter than others. Right. Finish it with scallions. And you don't really see scallions on a pizza anywhere else. No, and the pizza's ready. Another beautiful pizza. Here we go. So this is the first time I've been ever allowed to touch pizza in this kitchen. And this dough is so easy to work it's with. It's so nice it's right incredible. now. It's incredible. Get this corners, get over here, you see. Yep. And then when you go in there, you're gonna kind of open your hands a little bit. Okay. Stretch it out even a little bit more. Here we go. And I'm gonna drop. Perfect. I'm gonna be honest, mine looks pretty shit. No, it looks beautiful. I just, I'm not happy with how I dropped it on there, David. I've... Oh, you're not? That's okay. Like I said, every single pizza looks different. Can I try one more time? Absolutely. That looks good. All right, that looks cool. It's perfect. Better this time. Absolutely, looks beautiful. Beautiful. Bravo. That's, that's a little better. No, that looks great. That's better. Now I'll pull it back. Good. Now flip it. First a little bit of olive oil. Here we go. Yeah, like painting it. Exactly. And then we do the cheese. Yeah, that looks good. And just dump it in the middle. And then spray it out. Spread it out. Now we're gonna do the tomato sauce. The idea is that every single uh, bite has a little bit of tomato and cheese. Now we do herbs. Perfect. Just a little olive oil. Yep. And then we're gonna push it back. Looks gorgeous. You did good. We need somebody to work pizzas. Would you come in? You should have let me store? touch the pizza when I asked. It's too we late now. We said, all right. Check the bottle, make sure it's not burning. Looks good. And then finish with the scallions. Garnish the pizza with scallions. I don't know if mine's nice. as good, good as yours, job. but I feel oh, good about beautiful. it. I feel good about it. Show everyone how you eat the pizza here. Fork and knife. You use fork and knife. Yeah. To cut it. Look at that. You're gonna cut me a slice? <laughs> what I've always loved most about this is that it looks so thin, but it's got a really nice chew to it. It's chewy, crispy. Mm -hmm. It's got like a little bit of that acidic bite to it from one of the cheeses. All right, well, if you ever need help making the pizzas, 
you know where to find me. This right here is Frank Pepe's. This is Dave Portnoy's favorite place to get a slice. Dave has reviewed thousands of pizzas through his Barstool Pizza Reviews, and this restaurant here is based in New Haven, Connecticut, which many say is the pizza hub of America. If you look up best pizza in America, this place is top three on every list. What's going on, guys? Hey, what's happening? How are you doing? I figured you guys would be happy I'm seeing some Connecticut-style pizza before New York City, which... Absolutely. You know? We love to showcase off our coal-fired oven. Frank Pepe is the birth place of coal-fired pizza in New Haven, Connecticut. So right here is a custom 100,000 pound coal-fired brick oven. This is the powerhouse of the pizza that they make here. So this right here is 2,000 degrees inside. A new fire starts every day, burns your eyes. It's amazing, isn't it? Every 30 minutes to an hour, we'll flip the fire just to get the old ash down, add some new coals. Remember, just like any fire, you need oxygen to breathe. So if you flick this fan on, that pushes air through here and gives really nice airflow into their oven which is what cooks the perfect pie. Should we make a pizza? We have a, a bread flour, not a, a pizza flour. So it's a little uh, looser. Okay. So you want to get under it, a little flour, and then you just want to grab it on the edge. You're not throwing it up in the air. You're not making a circle and uh, throwing it. Yeah. It'll make a hole in it. No throwing dough in here. Nope. So how many pizzas do we make a day here? On a busy day, you can do over a thousand. Wow, you people do. love pizza. So level scoop. Put it in the middle. You're gonna write like a pencil. Oh, that's you can good. Write my name into it. It's all just circles <laughs> into it. Sliced mozzarella cheese. Yep. This uh, actually is a big key for us. Okay. It melts different. Then we have our pecorino romano, our olive oil, and then this is the hardest part. Okay. Just throwing it. Big key is just throw it. You don't want to get scared. You get to your point. Shake. Finesse, I like it. Okay, this is nice, light, airy dough. Look at that. We make our dough fresh every day. And it kind of spreads itself, like you said. A Little bit of farina on here, toss it right on. Honestly, I'll, be, I'll, I'll say, I could have made it a little more circular. It's okay, it all tastes the same. One scoop right in the center. Once I put it in the center, I liked your, you're kind of like drawing with a pencil. Food is always art, isn't it? It is. It's nice to have that cheese a little bit dry before you make that pizza dough. That way you're not gonna have this wet, leaking pizza. A little bit of pecorino, just a little bit of olive oil to finish it off, and then we're good. All right, this is the toughest part. I don't want to hit anyone with this thing. So everybody duck, all right? All right, I'm gonna go all the way in. Ooh. All right, about 10 minutes later, my pizza should be done. It definitely looks good. Let's see. Beautiful. Wow, that is a good looking pizza. We did the hardest part. We actually made the pizza. So now the only question is, how does it taste? Right off the bat, I have to say, this is a damn good looking pizza. I can tell that crust is nice and crispy and it's definitely nice and hot. If I'm being honest, I just don't see how you can get a better pizza than this, but New York and Connecticut have always been in a fight on who has the better pie. So let's go see. Can Connecticut's best beat New York's best? We made it to New York City, and after searching through over 2,000 pizza restaurants, I've decided to visit this one. It's literally called Best Pizza. Best Pizza serves up classic New York style slices. Everything is baked in a custom oven that's bigger than a lot of New York City apartments. This is a 100 year old oven about. Yeah, it's like 130 years old. And how big is this oven? So I'll show you right now. People always flip out when I bring them to this part because this is literally the whole, this the is the whole oven. The oven goes all the way back. Yeah, it's the size of a one car garage. It's very similar, like if you go to Frank Pepe's in New Haven, yeah. and if you go to like a lot of those pizzerias that have been around for 100 years. Frank Pepe has the same exact oven as us. We just went to Frank Pepe's. Yeah. Sounds like all the best pizzas come out of the same ovens. Big huh? shout out to Frank Pepe's. You called this place best pizza for a reason, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, that's what some say. But we'll let you be the judge. Let's make some pies. Yo, I'm coming into the kitchen real quick, guys, right behind you. <laughs> this Two is crazy. Seconds. So the main goal is to kind of not touch your crust when you're making it. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, the crust kind of makes itself. When I'm making the pizza, a lot of pizzerias, you see pizza guys smacking the shit out of the pizza, you know? <laughs> I want to keep the air inside because that's what keeps the slice nice and light. So you're pretty delicate. With it when you it's delicate, that's, that's the exact word I Got it. teach all my pizza guys. Get it up into your hands, Got and then it. this is when it starts spreading out. I haven't seen a technique like this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just kind of before. flip it. Yeah. Gravity is your friend with pizza making. You know, you see people throw it in the air, yeah. and it is a trick and people love watching it, but it actually helps the pizza spread out. We've seen a lot of pizzas in this video. This is the biggest, biggest pizza we've Biggest seen. one so yeah. far? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's you know, a huge when pizza. You're, if, you're, if you're talking about how big the actual, you know, yeah. pizza dough is, but to get it to this size without having any little uh, uh, holes or thin parts in it. Yep. It takes time. You got to make a lot of pizzas and that's what I tell young pizza makers. First thing is the tomatoes. When the pizza cooks, the crust puffs up and it pushes all the ingredients to the middle. Yep. So what you want to do is kind of get everything to the outside rim. Uh, this is our oregano. We use the oregano on the stem. This is what makes a New York pizza in my opinion. Oregano. The dried oregano. You go to Italy, you go around and eat 
a New York slice. If you keep that in your mind, you'll be like, oh shit, I taste the oregano. This reminds me of New York. It's a powerful herb, especially when it's dried. Yep. So we don't go too heavy. Pretty light on the cheese from what it looks like too. Big time. I'm not I'm not big in like just having a big cheesy slice, yep. you know. Plus and you're fresh. also putting more of that cheese on the outside, just like you talked about, to make sure it's not being weighed down, yeah? Exactly. So it's fresh mozzarella, it spreads a lot, so you don't need to use as much as, as normal pizzerias do. And then we're gonna go right in. Coming right behind, you want it? There it goes. Oh. You got the launch down to a science, huh? Yeah, it's a lot of years, you know? <laughs> the oven's so hot, as soon as the pizza gets in there, it pops right up. You can see all those bubbles forming. Oh, man. Yeah, it looks nice. This is a technique. Sometimes we'll take it and dome it, and at the top of that fire, just kiss the top of the pie. Doming it? Yeah, because the top, the top is a dome. That's yep. where you get those little black spots on top? Yup, and that's where all the heat is, so the higher you go, the hotter the temperature. Yep. For me, I don't want the pie to be look perfect. I want it to look... Rustic, you know? We try to mix the old with the new, and I think that's what makes our spot special. Come on, boys, eat up. Grab a slice. This is what it's about, right? Yeah. Passing the food yeah. around yeah. and eating it. Oh, that's oh. it. That's what we're looking for oh. in New York. Cheers, cheers. 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 Mm. That's the sound of pizza. That's it, baby. <laughs> I would just call it the perfect, well-rounded slice. You're not doing anything fancy, but you're doing everything right. Thank you, man. It is the best pizza, huh? Come visit Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Come see this <laughs> handsome guy. Our next stop is Industry Kitchen, home to the world's most expensive pizza. And I figure if you've got the world's most expensive ingredients, it's gotta be pretty damn good. Are you ready to uh, to see how we make our 24K uh, pizza? As ready as I'll ever be. Should we do it? Yeah, absolutely, come over. All right, all right let's go. Ooh. A lot of stuff happening back here. Uh, this is Luis. Uh, Luis, Luis is going to start the dough. It's a black dough. It's made with uh, cuttlefish ink. So that makes it super, super black. There's a uh, little earthy tones to it in the flavor profile. I feel like you might be the only place in the world with a black dough pizza. First, we start with a uh, roasted garlic cream. Uh, that's our base instead of a tomato base. Definitely not a traditional pizza. It's not. The second layer is mozzarella cheese. So this is a Stilton cheese from England. The best, the best we can get is a blue cheese. How often are you making one of these? Uh, about 15 to 20 a year. This oven is like a gas oven, but also we have apple wood. So you've got gas and wood in yeah, this oven. So the, the gas is for the temperature to make the bottom wow. very crispy. Then that is for the smoke and flavor of the pizza. Fagra, this one is the liver of a goose. It's uh, coming from uh, the Hudson Valley. It's so decadent. It's almost like a fancy uh, butter. It's a fa <laughs> fancy animal butter, yeah. So the pizza's finished its first bake. Yes. How many slices do we have here? Uh, eight slices. $250 per slice. Oh, sh Time for the gold. So each slice gets a nice big square, huh? Absolutely, yeah. We are not shy with our gold. This is actually 24 karat gold. Absolutely, yeah. So instead of putting this on a wedding ring or on a chain or in a watch, this is on a pizza. This is on a pizza. All right, so we have the gold. Now we are going with our other ingredients. So that foie gras just baked in that oven for a little bit. And now you're placing that onto the pizza as well. Yep. Now we have the caviar, the beautiful Cetra caviar from Iran. And again, you're putting one nice big spoonful on every single slice. That's correct. We're trying to achieve the full flavor profile of umami oh my God. in this uh, pizza. Then we have some beautiful edible flowers. And this part I love because the colors start to really pop. Well, we have the benefit of the black dough as a nice canvas of art, right? And we have some more uh, textures of gold. So there wasn't enough gold on there, no, Chef? No, there was not enough okay. gold. And we're going to smother the pizza with truffle. Oh my God. Uh, Nick, this is your 24K golden pizza. One more little surprise here. I actually brought one of my best friends from high school who has no idea what he's about to eat. He's also kind of a picky eater. You ready to eat some pizza? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. Thank, Thank you, you so much. What do you think? Crazy. I don't think there's enough gold. Believe it or not, this is the most expensive pizza you can buy. In New York? Anywhere. Really? Guess how much each slice costs. 100 bucks? 250. <laughs> Have you eaten gold before? <laughs> no. All right, let's go. Wow. That's insane. I taste a lot of the Stilton blue cheese. It's like a super yeah. powerful, powerful cheese. I got a big fat bite of foie gras when I bit in, so it's all buttery. Did you like the foie gras? I loved it. I mean, was foie gras like super expensive or? Yeah, I love the fact that there's a bunch of different cheeses and I love the look of the dough, even though it tastes just like regular old pizza dough. All around, give it a pizza rating. You like pizza? Pizza rating out of 10. I mean, in terms of how unique it is, 10 out of 10, mm. kind of unbeatable. I think the best slice I've ever had, to be honest. Is it? It's not every day you have some gold pizza with This is your top pizza that top. you've ever had. I think so. Wow. I'm gonna tell everyone I had some gold pizza today. All right, uh, let's see the damage. 
You got this one? Yeah, I'll take it. This is the first bill you've ever picked up for us. Have a good day. <laughs> For our final pizza, I flew to Italy in search of the number one rated pizzeria in the entire world. And I decided to have a little bit of fun along the way. Did you really think I wasn't gonna pull up to the best pizza restaurant in the world in style? There are over 250,000 pizza restaurants in the entire world, and behind me is number one. This is I Masanielli, a pizzeria just outside of Naples, Italy, that was just ranked number one in the world by a panel of 900 judges on the most prestigious pizza rankings list. How are you? Nice to meet you. Head chef Francesco Martucci has invited us into his kitchen to learn how he makes the best pizza in the entire world. So my brother here, Pete, speaks great Italian, so he's gonna be helping us translate today. Facciamo il pasto prima. Okay, sei pronto? Pronto. So I'm curious, how did you get so good at making pizza? Ho iniziato a dieci anni per necessità. Ero un bambino, dovevo dare una mano a casa. A casa non avevamo né la corrente né il gas. Ho iniziato a lavare i piatti e i bagni in pizzeria e poi piano piano, step by step, ci siamo avvicinati alla pizza, al banco. E poi è diventata la mia vita. Noi piano piano l'impasto si amalgama sempre meglio. Iniziamo a lavorare con le due mani. Now is when he really gets to develop that gluten. Impasteremo finché non avremo una consistenza senza grumi. Quindi quando noi iniziamo che l'impasto inizia a staccarsi, no? Lo metteremo in un recipiente dove lo, lo faremo riposare per un'ora. See you later. Inizio io con una classica margherita, pomodoro San Marzano. Un po' di basilico, a me piace metterlo anche in cottura perché gli dà un po' di humor. Quindi noi lo mettiamo sotto la mozzarella e non brucia nel forno. Un po' di olio extravergine prima e un po' dopo la cottura. Metto prima perché la temperatura dell'olio sale molto di più degli altri ingredienti mm. e aiuta a cucinare il pomodoro. The addition of that oil completely transforms the pizza. A me piace il forno con poca fiamma. La fiamma andrebbe solo a cuocere le parti esterne e non il cuore della pizza. E eh, voilà. That was it? Yeah. That was that fast? That pizza just cooked faster than we could film it. And it's done. That was it. Veloce perché c'è una pizza sola in forno. He's using the scissors to cut the pizza. This is a very classic Italian style. Why do they cut with scissors? Perché mi piace usare le forbici e poi ti devo far vedere il nostro lavoro. That is the lightest crust I've ever felt in my life. Mangi. Okay, okay. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. cheers. It tastes like Italy. Grazie. <laughs> the crust is so soft and light. They got the perfect crisp and char on the outside. Come il vetro, la crosta. La margherita deve essere fondente come un cioccolato, deve essere l'insieme che si fonde. That's the first time I've heard uh, pizza compared to a chocolate. That's a, that's a good f pizza. So who gets the last slice? Tocca a chi per mangiare il... Wanna fight? Wanna fight for it? Non volevi combattere? No, no, no. Luckily, we didn't have to fight, as the chef made us one more pie, his specialty deep-fried pizza, Futuro di Marinara. Oh my god. That is a crazy crisp. Mmm. You hear that? Oh my god. That is insane. This is the best pizza crust that I think I've ever had. Grazie. La dobbiamo fare in America allora. Oh, no. You know what's funny guys, I just realized this. I was taking a shower and it's 6.42 p.m. on a Thursday evening. It's been like a week since I filmed this video. And I just remembered I didn't even pick my favorite slice of pizza. And that was like half the reason I filmed the whole video. So, sorry about that. <laughs>